How to toggle a GPIO pin using DMA on an STM32 without constantly using the CPU. That's where DMA, or direct memory access, comes in. Normally when you want to blink an LED using a GPIO pin, the CPU is responsible for setting the pin high and low in a loop or inside an interrupt. While this works, it keeps the CPU busy and limits precision if there are other tasks running. But with DMA, you can automate the toggling process. Here's how. First, you prepare a small array in memory containing two values, one to set the pin and one to reset it, using bit patterns that directly control the GPIO's BSRR register. Then, you configure a timer like TIM2 to generate periodic events. Each time the timer overflows it triggers a DMA transfer, sending the next value from the array to the GPIO register. As a result, the pin toggles high and low automatically at precise intervals, without any CPU action after setup. This method is especially useful when you need consistent timing, low power consumption, or are handling other CPU-intensive tasks. Compared to traditional GPIO toggling where the CPU must actively manage the timing, DMA-based toggling is faster, more efficient, and much more scalable. Whether you're blinking an LED or generating pulse signals, using DMA gives your STM32 project a serious performance boost while keeping your CPU free for more important work. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips and tutorials.